What the heck is the best glue bottle? Hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Doing a little bit of glue up. I thought it would be a good opportunity to tell you what small workshop guy, that would be me, Paul Carlson, what my favorite glue bottle is. My second favorite is actually just using the glue bottle that the Type Bond comes in, the Type Bond 2 or Type Bond 3. The key there is to make sure you wipe this top after each application and close it so it doesn't solidify on you up in the opening. I saw some other content creators uh, and woodworkers using these glue bots, and so I gave those a try, and like everything, I, it's not sufficient just to buy one, I go ahead and buy two, don't know why. And I have tried those, and they are certainly good in some applications where I'm trying to get up under something and I can't tip the bottle up because uh, they work kind of differently. You squeeze it and then it can go up. But frankly, in a lot of cases, I had difficulty getting the glue out and or I would tip it and, and that would act, act counteractive. So I saw a fella named uh, Russ and he did a whole uh, YouTube video on his favorite glue bottle. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try some different ones. So we finished up some honey Dijon mustard. So now let me unveil the best glue bottle, and there it is. There's two of them, they're identical. These are, uh, these are actually from Whole Foods, or Safeway, I think, the organic brand, although that doesn't matter. I think anything similar to this, you can pop open the top and that kind of will stay out of the way. And you've got just the perfect size of opening there. Plus, it's easy to squeeze it. So let me show you, uh, without a doubt, this is what I grab every time I'm ready to do glue up. So I don't even use these anymore. I need to transfer all that glue out of there. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So here's what I like about it. I can barely squeeze and get a nice little stream out, or I can squeeze a little bit harder and get a nice amount out. So if I'm gonna do a big panel, this works really, really well for getting a lot of glue down quickly. So I find it extremely controllable. I just like the feel, I like the size, I like the heft, and I like the controllability over the size. And like always, you know, when you're done putting down your glue, you should wipe off the top and close that puppy up. A uh, guy named Matt Jackson always talked about cleaning up your glue and he referred to it as wipe the baby's butt. And I thought that was an excellent way to remember it. You know, when you're done changing the baby and cleaning it up, then before you put it away, wipe the baby's butt. Some articles I read by, that were really, really detailed said, you know what, you need to compress the glue into the fibers of the wood. That's where the adhesion is gonna take place. Yes, on the surface, it's got to be uh, wet and, and make attachment to the other piece of wood, but it certainly will work better if you get it down into that wood. Well, that's it. That's, uh, that's my favorite glue bottle. What's yours and why? Are you a glue bot fan? I'll put a link to Gluebot down below, but I can't give you a link to the other one because it's a grocery item and you just have to get it at your grocery store. All right, I kind of made a mess out of all that. Give a little experiment with different glue bottles and try some mustard bottles and see what you think. Small workshop guy, hoping you stay safe in your workshop, signing out. Uh, what is really cool about these is you can pop open the top. You can pop open the top. Have I even opened this one before? <laughs>